All right, all right, all right. What's going on? We are back live. Whoever's in here, how's it going? We're going to be starting up. I'm just waiting for some people to get on in here. So we're going to hang out. I'm just trying to roll those blunts up real quick. Had to wet the leaf because it was too dry. It's one thing about backwoods sometimes. They're super dry. I hope everybody's having a great day. It's Thursday, almost the end of the week. Who we got in here? Sorry, when I'm looking down, it's often like I'm tuning you guys out. I'm not. I'm looking at the chat. Who's in here right now? Who's hanging with me? How's everybody's day going? Nobody? Damn. Silencio, huh? Wait till at least like 10 people get in here to start up the actual stream, so. If y'all ain't talkative, you're going to be sitting in here for a second. Who I got in here? Oh, man. I hate when I get holes in these blunts. Who's watching? Smoking on some OG. Oh, the wife he sent me. Smoking on some OG, OG. Let's figure out how to hop on here and chat with some people. My, my people in the Discord surprisingly haven't gotten an alert yet, which is weird. Oh, did it go? Yeah, it did. I just didn't get the alert. What's going on, though, JT? What you got going, my brother? I'm waiting for a few people to get in here because I know some people are going to jump in. I know the squad's going to jump in. I just I know it's also a weird time. This time is always weird. It's either hit or miss. If you start up at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock, it's a hit or miss. For the first 10-15 minutes. Bro, this backwood was so dry. Oh my god. Almost couldn't roll it. Had to give it that Jesus revival. Put it in the water, you know. Resurrect it. Nope. Okay. I thought that was somebody here for me. <laughs> Sounded like somebody shutting their door right outside my house. I was like, what the fuck? But what's going on? Who's in here? What you guys getting into? Thank you for coming to hang out. Sorry, I'm rolling up. I'm just waiting for some people to get in here. We'll play some music. I know that's what you guys want to hear. I just don't like playing the music right off back because I want to talk with people for a minute. The 
This is the lowest my shit's been in a while. That's crazy. I feel like I'm on Twitch. Usually you get about 10 people in here in the first 10 minutes. And it's two people right now. And y'all are silent as hell. Alright. Let me flip over. Alright. Got this little quick mix to do. What's up, what's up, whoever's in here? Appreciate it. Is it damn or DMN? What is it? I fuck these hoes. I would never expose. Road running behind. I fuck these hoes. I would never expose. Big bags. We. You see us coming, push the money button. Road running with hundreds, I'm a stuck and ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. I fuck these hoes. I would never expose. Big bags we bring. Dollar bills, not my thing. Road running with hundreds. I'm a stuck and ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Road running with hundreds. I'm a stuck and ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. 
Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. I fuck these hoes. I would never expose big bags. We bring dollar bills, not my thing. Rolls running with hundreds, I'm a stuntin' ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Rolls running with hundreds, I'm a stuntin' ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Oh, k k Let me see your stamina. Hands, shoulders, knees, and toes. Hands on your ankles. Hey, baby. Pro on the post, she merry go. Round the town, if that chicken around. No BBL, she pull up in the latest Excel. If it ain't a brick involved, there's nothing to reveal. So to all you niggas bricklaying and weighing the paper, drop a ticket in this motherfucker instead of the hating. I fuck these hoes. I would never expose big bags we bring. going on with you bro we gotta get these goat ghosts on better oh yeah heavy bass for sure spread your arm and let it spill on them drop a ticket blow a brick on them spread your arm and let it spill on them spread your arm and let it spill on them Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. 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 Go. All right, so got a question. Are you using all? No, I'm not using all the buttons. I, I don't have all my shortcuts set up. Um, future sound to optimize transients in the mix to get a professional sound. One is using transient shapers. Um, two is compression. You know, if you use the right compression and stuff, you're gonna get those transients to kind of either punch out more or get tucked back more and sometimes you need to do uh more compression that'll tuck some of the transients back so you can get louder mixes because if your snare is like a really big transient and it's taking up a lot of headroom then your loudness is going to be limited on how loud you can go because that's always going to send it over But whoever's in here, make sure you guys say what's up. Make sure you guys hit that like button. We got 10 people watching with three likes. We need to get more likes up. Go. Go. You heard him. Go. 
Go hit that like button. On them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. What's going on with you? Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Oh, k k, -K. Let me see your stamina. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Hands on your ankles. Moosh. What up, my guy? Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Oh, k, -K, -K. Let me see your stamina. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Hands on your ankles. Hey, baby. Pro on the post, she merry go. Round the town, if that chicken around. No BBL, she pull up in the latest Excel. If it ain't. Ah, fuck. These hoes, I would never expose. Big bags, we bring dollar bills, not my thing. Road running with hundreds, I'm a stuck and ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Road running with hundreds, I'm a stuck and ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Oh, k, k, k Let me see your stamina. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Hands on your ankles. Hey, baby. Pro on the post, she merry go Round the town, if that chicken around No BBL, she pull up in the latest Excel If it ain't a brick involved, there's nothing to reveal So to all you niggas bricklaying and weighing the paper Drop a ticket in this motherfucker The money button Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them Spread your arm and let it spill on them Go, go Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them Spread your arm and let it spill on them Go, go Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Oh, k, k, k Let me see your stamina. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Hands on your ankles. Hey, baby. Pro on the post, she merry go. Round the town, if that chicken around. No BBL, she pull up in the latest Excel. If it ain't a brick involved, there's nothing to reveal. So to all you niggas bricklaying and weighing the paper, drop a ticket in this motherfucker instead of the hating. Ah, fuck these hoes. I would never expose. Big bags, we bring dollar bills, not my thing. Road running with hundreds, I'm a stuck and ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Road running with hundreds, I'm a stuck and ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. My, 
money don't fall. Sparkling bottles, light show, big. All right, so we still got to work on these verses a little bit more. We're going to get this right. <clears throat> it's two different artists, two different energies. Well, tones, actually. Just very, very different tones. How you guys feeling, though? What you guys think about the track so far? Okay, let me see your stamina. Hands, shoulders, knees, and toes. Hands on your ankles. Hey, baby. Pro on the post, she merry go. Round the town, if that chicken around. No BBL, she pull up in the lake. Sparkling bottles, light show. Big Dutch pressure, small. All the hoes to the flow. It's going up every day of the week. I broke the money gun a few times, they tired of me. Ladies, let me like Cool J, I'm breaking the bank. Let me see that ass bounce in that pretty face. Ah, fuck. Sparkling bottles, light show. Big Dutch pressure, small. All the hoes to the flow. It's going up every day of the week. I broke the money gun a few times. They tired of me. Ladies, let me like Cool J. I'm breaking the bank. Let me see that ass bounce in that pretty face. Ah, fuck these hoes. I will. My money don't fall. Sparkling bottles, light show. Big Dutch pressure, small. All the hoes to the flow. My money don't fall. Sparkling bottles, light show. Big Dutch pressure, small. All the hoes to the flow. Nah, I didn't track these. These are recorded by somebody else. I've been mixing a lot of stuff I haven't I didn't record. Oh big Dutch pressure small all the hoes to the flow. It's going up a hey, day of the week. I broke the money gun a few times. They tired of me. Ladies, let me like Cool J. I'm breaking the bank. Let me see that ass bounce in that pretty face. Yo, big Dutch pressure small all the Hoes to the flow. It's going up a hey, day of the week. I broke the money gun a few times. They tired of me. Ladies, let me like Cool J. I'm breaking the bank. Let me see that ass bounce in that pretty face. Ah, fuck these hoes. I would never expose. Big bags we bring. Dollar bills, not my thing. Road running with hundreds. I'm a stuck and ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Road running with hundreds. I'm a stuck and ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Road running with hundreds. I'm a stuck and ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Road running with hundreds. J Dub, what's going on with you, bro? What's going on? What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? Man, Dizzy is work is a hard worker. That's why he's my assistant, guys. Like you guys gotta understand. Like as soon as I met him, I realized how much of a hard worker he was, and I said, "Yep, you're on my team," because I see the value and I see the drive and I see all of that in him. So, trust me. Um. Dizzy hard worker, uh, but let's talk about let's talk about the things you said you wanted to talk about, guys. Because there was a couple topics they said that they wanted to talk about in the Discord, so we could talk about it today. And that was let me see real quick where we at. Open chat. What was it? So how to achieve a good work life balance and signs and traps to look out for in the music journey. So the work life balance thing. I'm gonna be honest to people. Um, that is something that I even struggle with till today. Like it's hard because this industry is very demanding. And um, especially when you start working with bigger and bigger artists, it gets more and more demanding on your time and you don't really have personal time. You don't really have like holidays and stuff like that. So my best thing to tell you is in the beginning, set your boundaries so that you know what days you want to work, what days you're not going to work. Set a day at least that you're not going to work. You know, take one day off, and just at least recoup, rejuvenate, get re-inspired, 
watch a movie, go do something, get out the house, be in the sun. Because trust me, I used to be as white as this damn shirt. And I'm still white as hell and I live in Florida because I was never outside. I was never able to... Well, not able. I wouldn't say I wasn't able. But I was in the studio so often that I barely seen sunlight. And to tell you guys a quick story. So I used to never really have social anxiety or anything like that. And um, I had spent 14 hours a day for six months straight or about seven months straight at the studio. And... um, I was working, just I was going to the studio, going home, going to the studio. I might have stopped at a gas station, you know, like that was the most interaction I had with like multiple people outside of the studio. It was around Christmas time. I had to go get uh, presents for my family. I walked into the mall and with how many people were going, I've never had this before. I could walk in big, huge crowds before. I could walk through New York City. I didn't care. But I walk into the damn mall, I get like, halfway in when i walk through and carousel mall is pretty big or destiny usa is pretty big but at christmas time you guys already know how many people are shopping so i walked in and like literally got dizzy anxiety panic attack crazy and like i never had that before and i learned that okay that was from me spending 14 hours a day seven days a week for six months straight in the studio doing nothing else but that that really was like an eye-opener like bro you need to get out do more spend at least an hour even if you go for a walk for an hour, spend some time taking away from your computer and working on your stuff. Um, and then the signs and traps to look for is like really just people that want to like, hey, man, like we're coming from the same place, man. You can't hook me up. And people that really are always looking for a hookup or and don't get me wrong, helping people out isn't bad. You know, you got to do some free work here and there to get clients. You got to do some free work here and there to prove yourself. You got to do some cheap work sometimes to get new clients and stuff like that. Um, But when people come to you for the first time, you have never spoke to them and they're instantly asking for either deals or asking to hang out and, and kind of expecting to work instead of hanging out. That's the type of people I say to try to avoid because they're the biggest headaches. Like, you're going to deal with so many more headaches finding people like that and working with people like that because they don't care about anything but what they can get out of you. They don't care what they give back to you. They don't care what the, you get in return. They don't care if it's beneficial for one or two of you. It's As long as it's beneficial for them, they want it, and they're going to try the most they can to get it. So watch out for those people, and there's going to be a lot of people. I'm going to tell you guys right now in the in, in the engineer world, there's going to be a lot of people, I ain't going no, to nobody else but you. I'm not, you know, I'll, I'm going to bring you with me when I make it. I'm gonna, You're coming right with me when I make it. You're going to hear that a million times. You're going to hear that a hundred thousand times a year, at least. Just take it with a grain of salt. Because most of the time, those people are not going to bring you with them if they do make it. Just because there's two reasons. One... They're going to be put into an industry where they're able to reach people that are doing the big, big stars mixes now. Second of all, the label is going to be like, hey, we got engineers. You don't need them. And if they're not really loyal, loyal, they're going to be like, you know what? You're right. Because I done seen people get signed and that engineer that they were working with for years ain't do shit with them since. So and and get everything you can in writing, guys. Get your own um your own agreements written up for you know if you're doing a mixed package, like say somebody's ordering a project from you, right? They're doing twelve songs. You got a whole deadline. They want it done by. Put everything in writing, okay? Everything that they're saying to you, you should write down details wise. Like if they're like, hey, I need it by the third Friday of May. I need it you know, these type of files, I need the show version, this and that, you write all that down, and you make sure you keep track of all that stuff, because there's so many times you will talk to people, they'll give you so many details that you won't even be able to remember, so make sure you're writing everything down and keeping that organized, because it's hard to do a lot of business with a lot of people when you're just trying to remember off the top of your head, and the more you write down, and the more you can hold them to, so if they say, hey, we're going to have the files, payment, everything all done by this date. You can have your stuff finished. I need it finished by this date. And you agreed on it. Well, now you know that each party is 100% in agreement with each other. 
It's on the paper. You don't have no discrepancies. They can't argue with you about nothing later on. All of your policies are stated in there. If they didn't read it, that's on them. So you guys got to, that's one thing I would say too, is make sure you get as much as you can in writing, almost everything you can in writing. And if you're doing free work for people, at least ask for 2% royalties, okay? At least 2%. Because that way, if the song does do something, you at least have some type of back-end stuff coming, and it doesn't feel like it was actually fully free anymore, and you still benefit from it, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. Having good name songs on your resume is always good, but we're in a business that doesn't have retirement, 401k, stuff like that. you got to set your own up, and... Your royalties are technically your, your retirement, your 401k, your all of that. So in order for you to have longevity with money, you have to make sure that you are asking for royalties. Do not be scared to say, hey, I did this for free for you. I would like, you know, or exchange of me doing the, you, Don't say it after you do it, though. Don't go, hey, I did this for free, so I need 10% royalty. No. You go to them before you do the mix. Hey, I'll do this free mix in exchange for 2% royalties. If they say no, okay, I can't do the mix for free. If you say yes, then I can do the mix for free. You don't have to pay anything out of your pocket. And when if the song pops, if, if, then I'll make some money. But it's not going to be anything huge. It's 2%. But as Jay-Z said, I'd rather have 1% of something that makes a million dollars or a billion dollars than having 100% of something that makes no money. So don't always think about royalties as huge, huge options to be like, oh, I need 20%, I need 30%. No, no, no. 2% might go a long way if the song does some really good numbers. And then I had uh, Moosh ask, what are some uh, keys to organizing your... Is it your files and stuff, Moosh? What was your question? Keeping your files organized... Okay, so my thing is this. Okay, people hate me for this, but I'll show you guys. So my sessions are super organized. So when I go into here, I have an alphabet. These are my ones as of right now. So if you open up these folders, there might be two or three artists in them. And then when I record an artist, for instance, Cotton Eye Joe, we did a recording. So when I record a song, it's the date and the song number. So whether we did one song, two th song, three, four, five, whatever, right? So this is the only one. We were on the road, so I didn't name that one the date. But usually it says the date, artist name, song number. And then if I need to rename it later after they come up with a name, I can go back and rename it. Um, but all of my files are literally in alphabetical order. So if I need to find a client, I just go right to their name and I can find the files that I did. Now... Once I get done with things, okay, so for instance, Dreadlock, you will see, nope, this one is not the one that has it. It's this one. So this one right here, if I show you guys, see all the yellows, the reds, all that stuff. Those are markers for me to know what's done, what's not done, recorded-wise, mix-wise, all that. <clears throat> so I also mark those. And then once I'm done with usually like, uh, let me go into where it says right here. So if I do something where like I have multiple files where they sent me sessions and they have um they have sessions that like for instance Rila, he sent me sessions and then within that session that's his session right here and then here's my mix session. So I have an actual folder that says files so that way when I click on that these are all the files I if I ever need to send these off to them I'm all set. So all my stuff is super, super, super alphabetical. I take the time to organize it every time. And if you start it off like this, it's a lot more helpful rather than having to go and do it. But if you if you don't have it organized like that, you can also do just doing their names, making sure you have every artist name you work with, having because like if even if you go back to my old ones, let me go to my backup files. So if we go to my backup files. I used to not do the alphabetical order, but I did do every artist name. So if I went into session backups, uh, subcat sessions, you're going to see right here, these are all in alphabetical order, order no matter what. But when I started getting sick of having to go through all these names right here, because I have so many damn artists I worked with, 
I started saying, okay, it'll be easier for me to take and group them. So I just take the case. If you already have your stuff like this, just go like this and then new folders with selection and then put the letter. So that's what I usually do. You know, we can even pull some of these old sessions up. These would be fun. Yeah, see, every, I mean, these are, you can see there's 2017. But these are, that's how I used to always do it. But then once I started doing the alphabetical, I was like, oh, this is way easier to find everything. Just so much easier to go, okay, D, and then just bloop, I have the artist in there. Instead of searching through 50 artists to find one. And then with beats and stuff, I don't necessarily do it, but uh, I have some friends who put them in their folder of styles. So like it'll be like R and B beats or trap beats or pop beats and they'll have them in those folders. Which I think that's smart, but I just I have so many beats to organize. That's the one spot I'm not organized at. My beats are not organized. I'll tell you guys that right now. Recording sessions, yes, because those are I have to be able to recall those anytime I can. But as far as like if you if it's your music, like break it up into finished and unfinished folders and just remember to move them. Cause that's the main thing is you got you can't forget to move your stuff. Alright, now that my girl's home, I can light this. Sorry guys. For the chat, we are I just wanted to have a conversation with everybody because you know I've been mixing so much. Like last night, I just kind of flew through some mixing and nobody was really talking. So I was like, all right. Some some lives are going to be like that. Anybody else got any questions or anything like that? Any type of stuff they want me to talk about that, you know, they got questions about. It doesn't have to be technical stuff either. It could be, you know, career stuff. It could be, you know, what's one of my, I don't know. You guys can be creative. I don't have to guide you on what to ask. And welcome, welcome, whoever just joined in. I seen we just had to jump up two more people, so. Auto in the building. Did I work with any what artists? Sorry, that there's a heart in my way. Somebody else comment so I can see what this comment says, because that's heart is in my way. Major artist? Oh. Um, yeah, so I've worked with... Yeah, yeah. I've worked with Chris Webby. i worked... Well, he's a major independent artist, so I worked with him. I've recorded him. I've worked with... Um, I've mixed a song with French Montana on it. I've recorded Jada Kiss. I've mixed with Jada Kiss on it. I've mixed a song with Corey Guns on it. I've mixed a song with Tory Lanez on it. I've mixed a song with Lil Yachty on it. Um, and those are, vo I mixed their vocals. So like, I didn't just, they weren't just printed into the beat. Um, pfft. let me see who else. Mm. I'm trying to think of like people you would know. How do you bring vocals to the front? So typically it's about creating room. Um, first of all, you want to have compression that is pulling it forward instead of just pushing it down um so that's why i use two compressors because if you use just one it often will just give it the feel of it's getting pushed down and the second one kind of adds that extra bit of emotion and, and pump to it and good i'm glad uh you seen i'm glad that my helps are helping a lot uh, what computer am i using i'm using a mac m1 mini 16 gigabytes ram Nothing crazy, but it works so good. You guys can get like Mac Minis for cheap as hell on uh on like Facebook Market or something. Trust me. That's where I found mine. You don't have to go spend thousands at the Apple store. I promise. And if you get an M1 or better. I would stay away from M3s if I were any of you guys, if you're looking at upgrading your computer. Stay away from M3s just because um, 
M3 is not fully compatible with every single audio program and plugins and stuff like that. So certain plugins will not work on it. Um, that was the reason why I was hesitant on getting the M1 at first when it first came out. So I waited a while and then M2 came out and I was like, all right, M1 should be compatible on everything. And then M2 is now pretty much compatible with a lot of things. There's still a couple things that are kind of incompatible with it, but they can run as the regular processor. Um, but you won't get the same power. But yeah, the M1s, M2s are amazing. By far the best processor I've ever used. Like the fact that I can literally run 12 soothes. If I'm on live, my video will get glitchy. But like if I'm not on live and I'm just mixing by myself, I can run like 30 soothes. A lot of computers, you can't even put six soothes on and it'll be just glitching out. Are you self-taught or do you learn from another? I'm self-taught for the most part. Um, I do have a couple mentors that not that weren't like in person mentoring me, but like you know over phone calls and stuff like that that would give me advice. But for me, I'm more self taught. Um, I've only had the the opportunity of physically learning from another engineer once, and that was he was a rock engineer. So like I learned a lot of stuff from him about tracking and compression and stuff like that. But like I didn't get to do anything hands on. It was more of just sit down, watch the session. Write down questions, and if you have any questions, ask them at the end. Um, don't talk to the client. Get them water if they need it. Get them coffee if they need it. You know, I did that for probably like three months, but it was like once a week for every, uh, so about 12 times, you know. I went to the studio with them 12 times, but it wasn't always, you know, long sessions either. It could have been a two-hour session. But for me, I had been in the studio with rappers since I was 17 and I had got a job at a studio when I was 17. So even before that, when I went and worked with him, I was already experienced in Pro Tools and stuff. So I knew what I was looking at. Hey, Leech, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, man. What is it about Pro Tools that makes it so much of an industry standard? Every studio has it. It was the first DAW. It was the first recording program, so therefore, every studio that's a major studio had Pro Tools to start off, and so, don't get me wrong, you will definitely find other studios now with like Logic and stuff like that, but most rigs, they used to only be able to run on Pro Tools, um, and so, a lot of major studios, their equipment was based around a Pro Tools setup, so they didn't have the need to go and have multiple DAWs. But don't get me wrong, it's definitely like more common for you to find more DAWs than other studios now. But most professional engineers are going to record and mix you on Pro Tools. Mastering engineers, they don't always use Pro Tools. That's the weird part. They have their own mastering program. I forget the name of it. But if you were to go to like 10 different studios and be working on your sessions, you, you have a higher chance of them having Pro Tools than if you were to be like Ableton user. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how it just, how it just rolls out to be. Uh, there's a book that's called The 22 Laws of Marketing. And the rule number two is if you're first to do something, you would typically be the biggest in the market. Exactly. And they were the absolute first. Now, FL Studio was one of the first digital drum program, uh, like, DAWs. But it wasn't a digital audio workstation. It was just a drum program, pro drum programming software. Okay, Logic. Logic isn't bad. Well, yeah, it could be it could be the workflow thing too, but like if you really look at the history, bro, like every studio in 1995 to 2020 pretty much 
it, like major major studios where prime are primarily even now are primarily uh pro tools and it's often because that's like the most reliable one like most people their gear like some people's uh if they have those boards, if they have any control boards, sometimes they won't work with Logic. Like we had a control board at the old studio that I used to work out of that would not work with Logic. It was called the Pro Control. And this thing was huge. It had 32 faders on it. It was just a controller, not any audio run through it. And that would only work with Pro Tools. So that's really why like it became the standard. All right, we got any more questions? I'll take one more question before we jump back into the mix. Mm-hmm. Bro, she be drinking for two, three minutes straight. It be killing me. It be killing me. She be back there just drinking, 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 drinking. Uh, the first thing I do when I get a beat from YouTube is pull it down negative eight. And then I chop off the little tail that's in the front so that way it ends up lining up perfectly with the um, grid. So there's no off set. So like right here. So you can see this beat's pulled down negative 12 because it was super freaking loud. And then I pulled it all the way back so that there's no little tip. It starts where the audio starts. And then if you look where the drums hit, They're perfectly on grid. So if I want to take this guy right here and go boom, 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 I could do that really quick. Or take the kick right here and go boom, 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 boom. Kind of like I just did with that one. I can do it even faster. You can just easily duplicate all your stuff over and now. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let. So yeah, that's what I do every time first. And then from there I start recording. But I did not record this one. Uh, that's not a one an one thing answer. That's a step by step by step by step by step by step answer. Yeah. I fuck these hoes. I would never expose big bags. We bring dollar. Bills, not my thing. Roll running with hundreds, I'm a stop and ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Roll running with hundreds, I'm a stop and ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Oh, k k, -K. Let me see your stamina. Head, shoulders, knees, and I might go re-download this beat because they downloaded the beat and it sounds so goddamn crunchy already. 
because they convert it to an MP3, and that will instantly deteriorate the quality a little bit more. So, with that being said, the all new GoDaddy Arrow helps you get your business online. That's all it says is beat. What the fuck? Yeah, so when you guys convert an MP3 to an MP3 to an MP3 to an MP3, it just gets, it deteriorates the quality more and more and more and more. So, there's limited things I could do on this to make it punch harder. Like, it's gonna just get fuzzier. But, drop a ticket, blow a brick. sound do i think dynamics having too much dynamic can kill it uh it can because i mean things can be harsh so that's why you got to have like a glue compressor on there that's the importance of gluing the, the mix i fuck these hoes i would never expose big bags we bring dollar bills not my thing road running with hundreds i'm a stop when they nothing Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Road running with hundreds, I'm a stuck when they nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. I fuck these hoes. I would never expose. Big bags we bring. Dollar bills, not my thing. Road running with hundreds. I'm a stuck when they nothing. 
Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Road running with hundreds, I'ma stop and ain't nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money button. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go, go. Uh, I added that to the beat. So this and this right here to make the kick and punch, uh, the kick and 808 punch a little bit harder. Because that bitch was kind of with the vocals in there. It wasn't really hitting. Ah, fuck. D. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. You guys never seen the meme about the MP3s? So it shows like the final mix and master, and then it shows like, a, or it shows the. Recording, mix, master, then MP3. And by the time... Aw, oh, man. So this is a true fact. Before mix, after mix, after mastering, after MP3. See how that got all pixely compared to this one? So yeah. That's what MP3s do to your pretty much like... It's like watching... It's like watching a, a movie on 720p when it was shot at uh, fucking, what's it called, 480. You know, you're trying to stretch it up. It just deteriorates the quality. It's not like when you watch a, a movie a movie at, from 4K to 1080, it's going to look really crispy. But the uh, if you were to try to stretch something from 480 to 720, it's going to look really, 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 really pixely and that's the same thing that this is doing to the audio ah fuck especially with the bass Yeah, even if it's 320 kilobytes per second, yes. 
100% still. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Oh, k k k Let me see your stamina. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Hands on your ankles. Hey, baby. Pro on the post, she merry go round the town. If that chicken around, no BBL. She pull up in the latest Excel. If it ain't a brick involved, there's nothing to reveal. So to all you niggas bricklaying and weighing the paper, drop a ticket in this motherfucker instead of the hating. I fuck these hoes. I would never expose big. Okay. Let me see your stamina, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, hands on your ankles. Hey, baby, pro on the post, she merry go, round the town, if that chicken around. No BBL, she pull up in the latest Excel. If it ain't a brick involved, there's nothing to reveal. So to all you niggas bricklaying and weighing the paper, drop a ticket in this motherfucker instead of the hating. Ah. Okay. Let me see your stamina, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, hands on your ankles. Hey, baby. She merry go round the town if that chicken around. No BBL, she pull up in the latest Excel. If it ain't a brick involved, there's nothing to reveal. So to all you niggas bricklaying and weighing the paper, drop a ticket in this motherfucker instead of the hate. I fuck these. Okay, let me see your stamina. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, hands on your ankles. Hey, baby. Pro on the post, she merry go round the town. If that chicken around, no BBL, she pull up in the latest Excel. If it ain't a brick involved, there's nothing to reveal. So to all you niggas bricklaying and weighing the paper, drop a ticket in this motherfucker instead of the hate. Okay, let me see your stamina. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, hands on your ankles. Hey, baby. Pro on the post, she merry go round the town. If that chicken around, no BBL, she pull up in the latest Excel. If it ain't a brick involved, there's nothing to reveal. So to all you niggas bricklaying and weighing the paper, drop a ticket in this motherfucker instead of the hating. I fuck these hoes, I would never expose. Big bags we bring, dollar. Bills, not my thing. Roll running with hundreds, I'ma stop when they nothing. Every time you see us coming, push the money. Okay. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Okay. Oh, okay. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me see your stamina. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Hands on your ankles. Hey, baby. Pro on the post, she merry go round the town. If that chicken around, no BBL, she pull up in the latest Excel. If it ain't a brick involved, there's nothing to reveal. So to all you niggas bricklaying and weighing the paper, drop a ticket in this motherfucker instead of the hating. I fuck these hoes, I would never expose Big bags we bring, dollar bills, not my thing Roll running with hundreds, I'ma stop when they nothing Every time you see us coming, push the money button Roll running with hundreds, I'ma stop when they nothing Every time you see us coming, push the money button 
Drop a ticket, blow a brick on them. Spread your arm and let it spill on them. Go, go. Drop a ticket, blow a brick. Go, go. My money don't fall. Sparkling bottles, light show. Big Dutch pressure, smoke. All the hoes to the flow. It's going up a day of the week. I broke the money gun a few times. They tired of me. Ladies, let me like Cool J. I'm breaking the bank. It's kind of funny you say that because they're both older artists. Lino Cordova used to have a uh, like a buzz up in New York City and stuff like that for a while. He worked with like Ancasa, Dipset, Taliban, and all that. So, if you guys know about New York music, Lino Cordova was like, I think he was like one of the first artists that I had rap on outside of like the the crew that I was working with and the people I was working directly, he was like one of the first artists I had rap on one of my beats as like a collaboration with other artists. I wonder if it's still online. No. Nope. All right, guys. What time is it right now? It's almost 8. I got to go get some food. I am starving. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Probably going to call it a night for the streams tonight, but I appreciate everybody who has hung out with me. Yeah, Dips had the game in a headlock early 2000s. For a fact, bro, they, they, man, my whole city where I'm from is obsessed with Dipset. Like, that, they still to this day play Dipset like it's new. For real, for real. But I appreciate everybody who tuned in today. Um, This is our second stream today. So just so you guys know, if you missed the first one, you were probably working or something. But we did do an earlier stream. I mixed down another song earlier. So I'm going to go take an ear break, go spend some time with the wifey, and go get some food. So um, I appreciate you guys chilling, hanging out with me. Make sure you guys go join the Discord. If you want to connect more with the community, you want to hang out with more artists, engineers, and stuff like that, Go ahead, join the Discord. Make sure you guys, um, you know, hit the roll call. Tell tell everybody what you do and how long you've been doing it and such and such. Let us know a little bit about you. And uh, check out the competition. We are doing a three-way competition, artist, producer, engineer competition. So artist, I made a beat. So this is all three of you guys, all three groups. I made a beat, and I split it up into different ways to use it. So uh, artist, you have the full beat. You get to create a song to whoever makes the hottest song. You have two weeks. Uh, whoever makes the hottest song, you get a prize. Uh, the producers, you got the melody pack. So every melody that I made in that, um, it's either stacked up or I have them broken down into each different instrument. So you have those to choose from to make a beat out of. You can speed it up, slow it down, change the key, whatever you want to do. Just don't try to copy my beat. Try to make it something different. I want to hear something fire. And then for the engineers, you have the raw stems from the beat. So you can mix the beat. And there's even the, the mix of my mix. So whoever does a great job at all those, you know, all three will have their own winner. So we'll have three different winners, three different categories, three different prizes. It's going to be fun. You guys got two weeks to get those done. And then we're going to have a week of reviewing it. And then on a, the Monday after that, we're going to go ahead and do on a Monday music review we're going to do the whole submission. So whoever submitted, you guys will be a part of that. All right, guys? But thank you so much for joining in, hanging out. And I hope you guys have a great night. Go cook up something fire. Go join a voice chat or something. Network with one another. But I'll catch you guys later.